So The Sims 4 just released two new kits and one of them's called Basement Treasures. And I'm guessing it's gonna pull on the heartstrings of my nostalgia for The Sims. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna be mad because one, EA does not pay me or gift me the pack. I buy it with my own money. So this is a brutally honest review of the Basement Treasures kit. So let's get started. So I don't play with basements in my game very often, but with this new kit, I might have to. So I'm gonna pull out all the items out here so we can take a peek at all these build buy items. All right, we're gonna start with these mirrors. We have just, just some different mirrors here. This one's cracked, that's fun. Oh, nice. Oh, some more of these are cracked. Okay, so it looks like the white and the brown have a crackedness to them. Very dingy. You got a stack of chairs here. That's fun. You got a box full of, looks like folders, a blanket, miscellaneous stuff. This looks like one of your mom's old trinket teddy bears. Maybe she collected snow babies. Who knows? A dingy table. Excellent. This recliner looks awfully familiar, but it... Yes, sometimes it's got scratches, sometimes it doesn't. It's better upholstered. It's still very worn. This old beautiful couch. Oh, wow. The patterns on that bad boy. Definitely old, old. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we're going to make it the floral pattern because that screams, uh, grandma, throw it out. We got this old broken TV, very cracked TV. I wonder if it works. We'll find out. This lamp. I love lamp. TV. It looks like it's just like, not, I don't know if it's broken or just like old. This amazing shelf, because who wouldn't want this dingy shelf, right? A chest, a beautiful old treasure chest. Um, another lamp, love lamp. A dolly that has another dolly on it. <laughs> okay. You moving somewhere? I like a red dolly. There you go. Uh, grandpa's old trophies, because uh, we were number one. <laughs> this looks like board games. I don't know what board games that would be. That looks like maybe the game of life. Maybe Risk. Oh, you can change the boxes. Ah, yes. This looks like a stack of records. Oh, a landline with the Freezer Bunny logo in the background on this lunchbox. I'm trying to see what that is. One of them is Freezer Bunny. That one's Freezer Bunny. There you go. I'm going to skip this one for a second. And then we got this old dingy box. That one looks moldy. Oh, water damage. Oh. Um, I want to talk about this plant right here. If you are as old as I am and you've played The Sims from the beginning, this plant is in The Sims 1. The original Sims. Ha! I know because I used to put it in every house because there wasn't a lot of cool things in The Sims 1. Maybe this recliner as well and possibly this like coffee table. Not as dingy as it is now, but I know the phones didn't look like this in this original Sims, but I know this plant was there. She's there. Also, another thing in the original Sims is this bed. The heart bed. This is the disassembled heart bed because this is a historical item in The Sims. This is the only bed that you could have woohoo in, in the original Sims. It would vibrate and you would woohoo. And it was like, as a child, you were like, amazing. What is this vibrating heart bed? This looks like the uh, pancakes wedding, maybe. That definitely looks like Bob and Eliza. And it's broken. Can we change what Sims are in there? Ah, uh, yes. Some kids just going to school. How iconic. Oh, who are you people? Is that a kitten? I love it. Oh no. Is that supposed to be like Bella Goth and Alexander? Hmm. It looks kind of ominous. This one's not broken. I think this is the goth house. That definitely looks like a goth child. And Bella's iconic dress. Ha! Huh. Then you have this broken wall piece here because the Sims 4 house is made of brick now. Oh. What is it, like speckles? Oh, it's mold. God. Scratches, more brick, like water damage, and just a scuff and dirty hands. The mold is so gross. We can definitely do stuff with this. Mmm. 
And this wallpaper itself is part of the pack. It's like, it's called Dated Drywall. Um, it comes in a few different colors. Maybe, yeah, now you can see like the mold a little bit more, I guess. It's not fantastic. It's not great, but let's see if we can play with some of these objects. Can I assemble this? No, it's just a, I want to assemble this. All right, the mirror acts as a mirror, whether it's broken or not. Can't do anything with the chairs. You can just view these items. We can sit in the recliner. Sit on the couch. TV broken. She's long gone. Can't do anything with her. This is nice, huh? Nothing like a dingy chair. I think one of these TVs is humming. Is this TV humming? This one actually works. Let's watch the news on this one. Oh my lord. The reception is fantastic. Remind me never to buy this TV because you have to adjust the uh, antenna on top. Reception is fantastic. Oh, so this actually is like a bookcase. Nice. I was like wondering if it was like on a shelf, but it's a real bookcase. Can't open the chest. One of these items is humming. I I'm wondering if it's a broken TV or if it's this TV. This light works. This is a set piece. View confident work. All right, so we can view that. How cool would it be if we could make a phone call? This is a rubber plant, so you can't do anything with it. So, disappointment. So overall, I would... Oh, it's the lamps. They're like flickering on and off. I told you something was humming. Is that gonna cause a fire? Turn, turn these off, turn these off. Yeah, it's the lamps. God. So overall, I would give this kit a one. I'm sorry, but this is just clutter and junk. The only reason why I would buy this is if you really wanted storytelling for your Sims, whether like you move out, get your first house, you have to take this furniture with you because it was in the basement. The only thing I really love about this pack is this plant because it's um, nostalgia right here. Ooh. But like I said, a one. Unless you see something here that you can't live without for $5, I suggest you don't purchase this. If you really want like worn in, ruined, damaged items, then I suggest you get the werewolves pack because that has, you know, wall scratches, damaged furniture, damaged rugs, building items, a cool occult, one of the best occults in the game, if I do say so myself, and amazing gameplay. This $5 kit is just that, $5, which is not even worth it in my opinion. So. So if you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more pack reviews, updates, gameplay, and amazing Let's Plays. If you like chaotic Let's Plays, check out the playlist on the screen. But with that being said, I will catch you in the next one. See ya.